This video will go over work together problem 17-3 from our Century 21 Accounting Textbook Edition 10E by Gilbertson, Ali Lehman, and Gentine. So in this problem, we are analyzing financial statements using horizontal analysis. So the comparative financial statements for Tri-State Pipe are given here, and I, your instructor, will guide you through this example. So we need to complete the horizontal analysis of the income statement and round percentage calculations to the nearest 0.1%. This has already been started for us. We have a current year income statement and a prior year income statement. And some of the increase or decrease amounts have been done. We just need to fill in the missing ones. So we would just use a simple formula. Equals current year minus, click on the prior year. $17,280.72 is the difference in net sales. So now we'll do the same thing, current year minus prior year. And if we want to be tricky, we can copy and we can paste special the formula only, which would lead us to a difference of 19, 10, 21. We can paste special the formula only in any spot that we're missing one. That way we get away from any of the formatting differences. So that is how I would do it. 42.89.92, uncollectible accounts. We'll just keep pasting this formula only, 63.85.10, negative variance. And now we've finished all of our amounts, increase or decrease. Now let's do the percentages. So equals our amount divided by the prior year amount. That would be your denominator. We'll change this to a percentage with one decimal place here. And now we will copy it. We can paste special the formula only. Actually, then we still have to change this to a percentage and reduce the number of places. I don't know. We'll just keep doing them. We can paste special the formula and do this multiple times. Remember, we're just doing our increase or decrease amount divided by the prior year. And we can just keep pasting that. And now we can change all items in this to percentages with one decimal place. So at the end, we should have ended up with um, the missing ones, 2.7%, 6.4%, a negative 0.6%, um, 7.9 here, and we should have had a negative 4.4. So check and make sure that you got all of the same differences. And remember, we can read this as, for example, total operating expenses increased by 2.3% over the prior year, and that was a $4,400 increase. So that's how you would read these horizontal analysis changes and just a simple subtraction here for your increase decrease amount and a simple division here for the percentage of um, the increase or decrease amount divided by prior year. So that's it. That's your work together problem. Now on your own, it's going to be a little different. It's actually going to be a balance sheet, but the same thing applies. You will just find your increase decrease by subtracting prior year from current year. And if you look at the formulas, you can see how to do them. And then your percentage will be your increase decrease amount divided by your prior year again. So this really the same concept, just a balance sheet this time instead of an income statement. So you guys have got this.